Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please bear witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customization and they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So if you have any video requests, don't hesitate man, just drop me a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you as well, you don't have to subscribe. Or maybe now you should consider subscribing, because this is a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, like each video, but now I will be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable, to make your Shopify store very professional, without having to pay for those expensive teams, or pay for those monthly subscription applications, which is not a good idea for long-term projects. And if you are watching this video like a week after this video posted, I mean more than a week, then just check out the channel and check out for yourself the sections I'm sharing, then I'll let you decide, and I'll respect your decision. But in this video, I will be sharing a very unique section, which is an invisible section that will only show a push notifications on your Shopify store, highly customizable. You can customize the notifications to color or change the background or change the text color, and you can set a link for them, and you can set the behavior, how many minutes should show up or where they should show up, like top right, uh, top left, bottom right, bottom left, I mean corners on the page, and you can customize the behavior as well, so once they show up, I mean when they show up, how many seconds they stay open, and if they close manually, or if they close by themselves, and also controlling the frequency, if it will show up just for the returning users, or all users, or just the new visitors on your Shopify store, and many many more options, I cannot mention them all, you have to see for yourself. And yes, you heard that right, this is actually a section, your own custom code, no applications involved. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, by the way, this is Shopify team, so each video I share, as I said, small customizations, but because of now, I will be sharing complete sections, so this team will be very different in like the video 20 or 30. And you will see that for yourself, as I said. So let me reload the page so you can see the notification. I think you already did saw them, so they should show up at the top, right corner because I did set them at the top right corner which is my favorite location. Here they are, the first one shows up as you can see, it has this icon, it has heading, subheading and a button, you can customize the link for the button where you want to show it. And all of this without touching any code and without having to add or edit any code. This is customizable and the section settings. So it's very friendly for people that don't know or don't want to dive in in the code. And here it is, it will be gone by itself and it will show another notification, completely different, even the icon is different, the heading, like color is different, which is white now, the background is different, the button color is different, even the link, if I click on it, it will take me to contact us page. The first one I think should take me to a product because I did set up product, let me reload the page. So this one, if I click on it, it will take me to a collection page, I just remembered. And it's highly customizable, you can customize everything for it, as well as the behavior, which is the most important thing. And without any more talking again for the second time, let's just jump to it and show you all the settings it have and how, how to install it, obviously. So the first thing you're going to do is, as always, head back to Shopify dashboard. If you're already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store from here, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Because as I said, this is a custom code, not an application, so you have to add the section first. And it's very easy, no worries. So the, the second thing you need to do, you see this uh, left panel right here, simply head over to the folder that says sections in here. This one, as you can see, simply click on it to be expanded, and it will show you the first option in here, which is add a new section. Click on it, and a new section will show up, like a, a prompt, sorry, a prompt, where you can name the new section. So name it custom dash notifications just like you see on the screen now and after that click on done you don't have to add the extension for the file only the name for it click on done it will create some some code here by default simply remove all the code in here and after that we need to pass in the code for the section in here and where are you gonna get that code as always from the description box scroll down the description box and you will see a link my website or actually wait a second wait until you see how the section looks like and the options it has and how it behaves, then see. If it suits your purpose, then go get it. If not, wait for the next video because I have something very, very interesting coming in the future. 
But for now, let me assume that you already got it. After you did, open the file with any text editor, then copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in here. And after that, click on the save button. We'll wait for a couple of seconds. Now we're good to go. Let's just get back to the team editor because we need to add the section. And yes, section is invisible because this is just a push notifications. So click on customize button. And after that, the team editor should show up in here. So the next thing you're going to do, we need to add the section edit anywhere because it doesn't matter. It will not show up. For example, let me add it in here. Click on add section. Then on the search bar right here, simply type in custom and it will show you custom on how custom notifications as you can see. Click on it and nothing show up as I said because this is the hidden section and nothing will show up in here as well because it doesn't have any settings because we will customize each notification by itself. So each notification will have its own settings. So you can play around with the colors and see which one performs better. So in here on the left panel this time, it says on how custom on how notification on how custom notification sorry and below it is the notification alert and this is the notification if i click on it it will show me then the settings on the right panel this time as you can see so the first option or the first setting is the heading so what do you want the heading to be named i mean the heading on the notification for example i'm gonna do a new discount i'm gonna edit this just for demonstration a new discount Subheading, new collection just drop with, let me change the collection to discount, just drop with up, let me add up, with up to 20% or 20 is less, 40, up to 40% off. And below it is the button because as I said, the notifications have buttons and you can customize the text on the button. I would keep it just like this, check it out now or just check it out. And below it is the button link because obviously it's a button and it should take somewhere, right? So I will uh, actually set the button to be taken to a collection page and I will pick jewelry. You can pick anything in here, page or collection page or a product. In my case, I'm gonna keep it as collection page. And below is the icons because as I said, you can change the icons. I have by default some icons in here and you can add your own icon. Check it out, if I click on it, it will show me no icon if you don't want any icon on the notification or if you want information icon or success icon, warning icon, error icon, a shopping cart icon and sale icon or custom which is SVG code. If I click on this, you need to pass in in here the custom icon that you want to add. And I did many videos on icons so you can copy the custom uh, icon SVG code and paste it in here and it will be added. In my case, I'm gonna pick one from these. So I'm gonna pick sell because my notification is based on a discount. And below is the color settings, the heading color, the subheading color, I will change them. I like it as black. So I will change the text color to white as well as subheading to white and the button text color to black because I'm gonna change the button color to white. So I'm gonna reverse the colors. And the background for the notification, I'm gonna set the color for it is to black because I did set the text colors as white. So now I think it will look better and the display settings below them, which is obviously the display settings. I don't have to explain it. Border radius, uh, how you want the, the, the rounded corners on the push notification. In my case, I'm gonna keep it as eight. By the way, all the settings here, as I set them by default to be the perfect for the push notifications. So I'm gonna keep it as eight. Shadow intensity, I'm gonna keep it as five and the notification width, I'm gonna keep it as 400. If you have more text on notification, I would recommend you to increase this number. If not, just keep it as 400. And below is notification position, where you want the notifications to show up. If I click on it, it will show me top right corner or bottom right corner or top left corner or bottom left corner or top center <laughs> or bottom center. It too many options in here that maybe you don't even need. In my case, I like it as a top right corner. So I'm gonna select top right corner. And below, if you wanna show the backdrop effect, I'm gonna keep this as disabled. If that's something interests you, simply enable it. I'm gonna keep it as disabled. And below is the timing settings, because as I said, you can actually control the behavior. So the animation speed, it means like how fast the notifications shows up because they show up from the edge of the page. Uh, I would recommend you increase this to 0.7 or 0.8. Uh, 
because it show up very slow and that attract attention. If you like set it too fast like this, it will like pop up out of nowhere. It will not attract attention. Uh, or I would recommend you to play around with the settings to see which one suits your purpose. In my case, as I said, I will keep it as 0.7. And below is the display duration, which means how long the notification should stay visible for the user. Is it five seconds or 60 seconds, which is one minute? But I don't recommend you to keep it one minute. If you want to keep it like manual close, it will stay visible until the user actually close the notification, then set it to zero. If you set it to zero, it will be manual close. So the user has to close it because it has a, an X icon to close the notification. In my case, I'm gonna keep it just 12. And below is the delay before showing. How long should the user like wait or when the user access the page, how long until the notification will show up? If set it as zero, it will show up right away. After the user reload the page or access the page, then it will show up. Or like two seconds or three seconds. I would recommend you to do like three seconds if it's something urgent, like a discount code or anything like that. If not, you can do nine seconds. In my case, for demonstration, I'm gonna do three seconds. And no worries, you can actually set a priority for each notification. So if you have like 20 notifications, and yes, you can add 20 notifications. Yeah, you can do that. If you have like 20 notifications, you can set the priority for each notification. I will explain that in next options, no worries. So below is the trigger settings. So because we said delay before showing, it's based on this option on page load. But if we did like on scroll depth, then this one will be disabled. Only this one will be working, which is the how long the scroll percentage, like if I do, if I do like 100%, it means the user had to scroll all the way down to the footer of the Shopify store, then notification will show up. Or if you do like 50%, which would, it was by default 50%, which means the user has to scroll half page, then notification will show up. And the next option below it is uh, on exit intent. It will actually detect or track the mouse cursor of the user and the text once he trying to close the page, is going with the mouse cursor to close the page, then it will show up. And yes, this is very handy if you wanna do a discount push notification. In my case, I'm gonna keep it as on page load, but let me explain the others for after time delay, which also has to do with this option right here, as you can see, or below it is the after add to cart, after the user add a product to the cart, then the notification will show up. And this is very good if you want to add discount as well. So you can urge the user to actually check out quickly and pay for the product. But for my case, as I said, I will keep it as on page load. So below the next option is show to all visitors, first time returning, first time uh, visitors or returning visitors only. So which means if I select this one, only the first time the visitors to my Shopify store that will show the notification to. And it uses cookies to determine if the user the first time or the second time are returning users. In my case, I'm gonna keep it all visitors. And below is display frequency. Is it always or once per session or once per day or once per week or once per month? I'm gonna keep it again as always. And below the priority level. And this is what I was talking about. So for example, this notification, if I set the priority level for it, 10, it means no matter how many notifications I have, this one will always show up first. And if I added another notification and I set the priority for it to five, which means it will show up second. And I added another one again and I set the priority for it four, then it will show up as the third one. And if I added another notification and I set the, uh, the, the priority level for it as three, then it will show up as the fourth one. So the lower the priority level for the notification, the last it will be shown. As I said, I want this to show up first, I will add 10, but it doesn't matter for my case because I only have one notification. I will not add too many. It will be boring to watch the video. So below the last option is the mobile settings. If you want notifications to show up on the mobile or not, if you don't, you can disable them on the mobile. In my case, I'm gonna keep it, but for the position on mobile is different because the screen on mobile, not same as desktop. So you can only show the position on the top or bottom. But some people, hard-headed people, they want it as the desktop as well, like a top right or top bottom corner, as you set it for desktop. 
then you can then you can pick that option which is same as desktop in my case i'm going to keep it at bottom then the mobile width which is how large the notification should be and uh, how like the width of the screen it will take if i did like 100 percent, it will take 100 percent of the mobile screen which is not uh, recommended i will keep it as 85 or 80 which looks way way better because it's going to show up as a banner at the bottom of the page and it takes 80 pay, like 20 percent empty from the corner and 20 percent em empty for the corner and i think you saw some shopify stores they have that already now let's just click on save and see that in action and i think it should show up in here without having to uh, access the page here is as you can see it did show up let me do that let me reload the page come on show up here is as you can see this is how it looks like i did set the background to black and the colors to white and the icon sell icon as you can see and that's how you add your own web push notification system and automatic alerts on your shopify store without having to use any applications or pay a monthly subscription app and as i said you can add up to 20 notifications and the file will come with a comprehensive pdf file which is a user guide uh, file that you can guide you in using every option in this section right here and if you have any suggestions or any video requests make sure to drop them below now we'll be happy to make a video for you or provide the information you need but for now i think my job is done thanks for watching catch you on the next one